more fundamental habits. Oh, look at this! <laughs> a little showboat <laughs> trying to draw him in and then firing off. Again, told you defense got to be on point when you face it anyway. With the speed, power, and accuracy that he brings to the table. There he is taking these shots well, though, Tess. But for how long? Welcome, fight fam, to a world where punches pack power and warriors rise. Welcome to Cage Crafters, your ultimate destination for all things boxing and MMA. Today, brace yourselves for a journey through the heart of combat sports, where legends are made and battles redefine history. Turkey Alaushik stands prepared to engage and offer support in facilitating a potential clash between WBA lightweight champion Gervonta Davis 29 zero, 27 costs and undisputed junior featherweight title holder Nayaya in Al 27 zero, 24 Casa, provided that specific terms can be mutually agreed upon by both fighters. The clear issue at hand is the significant weight difference between Davis and Anau, suggesting that a catchweight agreement may be necessary if Anau is not willing to move up from 122 pounds to the 135-pound lightweight limit. Despite the talks of a potential matchup between the two powerful fighters, Davis is scheduled to make his comeback on June 15 against Frank Martin in Las Vegas. It is essential for Davis to secure a victory before any discussions about future bouts can take place. During an interview with the MMA Hour, Alaushik expressed his unwavering confidence in his own skills and the potential of Riyadh's season to facilitate a showdown between Davis and Anau. Alaushik expressed his interest in a potential matchup between Gervonta Davis and Nayaya Anau, emphasizing that these are the kind of dream fights he enjoys. He mentioned that if both fighters meet the required weight and present a suitable proposal, they can make it happen. However, the chairman of the Saudi General Entertainment Authority made it clear that Anau would need to leave Japan and compete internationally for negotiations to proceed. Despite previous misconceptions in the West, Anau has established himself as a significant financial force in the sport, as evidenced by his recent fight against Louis Nuri at the Tokyo Dome, which drew a capacity crowd. Throughout the course of history, the lower weight categories have typically been the least lucrative in terms of financial gain. As his reputation continues to rise, the four-division world champion Inau has reaped greater financial benefits. This has been demonstrated by Inau's success in attracting Stephen Fulton, Louis Nuri, Marlon Tapales, and Nanito Denaer to compete in Japan. However, we must not forget the most crucial aspect Inau is an exceptional fighter, stated Alaushik. We should not confine his matches solely to Japan. It is imperative that the world witnesses his talent. Bring an out to us, have him compete in Saudi Arabia, in America, in London. We are prepared to discuss this matter. He is an exceptional fighter. It would be regrettable if he retires having fought in Japan 99% of the time. Until next time, keep your gloves up and your eyes on the prize. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Cage Crafters for more riveting content on the world of combat sports. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more updates.